Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Chancellor of the University, returned to Harper Adams to open two new teaching resources. The visit began with a tour of the new Veterinary Services Centre, which boasts high-quality facilities such as treatment rooms and a canine hydrotherapy suite. I think it's really important uh, that we get the message out to the wider world that we don't just do agriculture here. Although we're very good at agriculture, we're also very good at uh, veterinary nursing, veterinary physiotherapy, bio-veterinary sciences, and a whole range of other courses related to animals. And we have some of the largest provision in that area in the UK higher education system. So we're very pleased to be able to recognise that today. The investment is really providing much needed space for us to grow that provision uh, and supporting really the new areas with new facilities you've just seen, man, with uh, canine hydrotherapy in particular. I think I'd like to just, just to emphasise the fact that in showing you what we're showing you today and in, in what you'll see later in the tour, we're really underlying the concept of practical and theoretical education that Thomas Harper Adams, our founder, wanted us to provide. And uh, as a consequence of that, we're delighted to have this new facility and we're really, really honoured that you are prepared to open it today. Right. Enjoy the new facilities. There's a choice here. Yeah? There you go. Her Royal Highness also opened the new Jean Jackson Entomology Building, a facility dedicated to those learning and researching the science behind insects. The building includes controlled temperature lighting rooms and laboratory facilities. We wanted to create a new home for entomology at the university and I think we've managed to achieve that with the addition of this new facility. Um, entomology studies in the UK of course are tremendously important, not only because we need to understand what is going on in the environment, but because of the impact of climate change potentially on the way in which we manage our crops uh, and our landscape and the impact that plants and uh, disease and, and the control of those diseases will have in the future. We need to be able to have the science to back up some of the interventions that we need, might, might need to make. So in launching uh, this facility with our Centre for Integrated Pest Management, we're looking at different ways of doing things, new approaches to the science. And I think that even integrated pest management um, was mentioned at the Oxford Farming Conference this year, so we're delighted that it's now on the map and that we have the UK Centre for this activity. Thriving postgraduate courses, you've met some of the students today, creating a new generation of expertise in this key area. Uh, it is slightly frightening to realise that there are so few entomologists about. You would have thought that this was really a, an era where you know, people would have spotted the fact that these are quite important people to have around. So um, congratulations on spotting that and also attracting uh, the right people to come here. To conclude her visit, Her Royal Highness was introduced to staff, students and special guests at a reception in the Regional Food Academy. The University continues to grow its teaching and research activities. We are currently working hard to raise sufficient funds to extend our laboratory facilities so that we continue to train and support agriculture science scientists of tomorrow, so much needed by the industry and to ensure that we have sufficient academic staff to educate future generations of students. We are committed to providing our agricultural and animal science students with the scientific knowledge they will need in their future careers. Hopefully, with the support of partners, we will be able to realise this ambition. Ma'am, may I thank you once again, very much indeed, for finding the time in your very busy schedule to visit us today, and may I please invite you to sign the University's Visitors Book to mark this occasion.